Imagine you're walking in a world with tall buildings and square streets that each look exactly the same. The sun is blazing hot but for some reason, you're wearing a heavy black fur coat under which you are sweating profusely. Looking around, you see people walking and going about their business wearing all the exact same coats. You desperately want to take your coat off. The heat is extreme and you're suffering from it, but something tells you others would perceive this as strange and it could undesirably single you out. Besides, the people you see don't appear to be questioning their clothing the same way you do. They seem to suffer from the heat, too, but show no intention of taking off their furry protection. Days go by, one after the other, and every day, the sun is blazing, and you put on that same exact coat each time you need to go out into the world. And every day, you see other people just like you wearing that same apparel without questioning it. Can you picture this scene in your mind? How would you like to live in such a world? Now, imagine you're the first person around you to disregard the need for proper behavior and you do, in fact, take off your coat. Imagine how it feels to have the scorching sun touch your naked skin for the first time. It burns, right? The sensation takes some time to get used to. Now, look around. People are starring. Some of them seem uncomfortable. A few, though, seem relieved. They, too, have been secretly dreaming of taking off their fury protection. They, too, sensed it was forbidden, so they chose to abide by the rules. But now that they see someone else daring to take that step, they become bolder. They let go of their fear and take off their coat. Too, they join you in being half naked under the sun. Soon, more people join and it doesn't take long before a small crowd is happily enjoying the heat hitting their bare skin. Not only that, but they can now see each other in a deeper way. They can appreciate the different shapes and sizes of their bodies, the different colors and styles of their clothing, and they experience attraction, desire, 
love, repulsion, fear, shyness, joy, all these emotions only possible when you're truly in contact with life, without too much protection, that is the job of the artist, opening up ways and paths to give the freedom to others to walk on them and experience sensations, emotions, ideas, artists are the first ones daring to take off their coats, giving permission for others to follow, between the first world and this one, which one would you rather live in?
There's a time to live the stories, and a time to write them. Life-changing experiences and adventures mean little once time passes. Everyone and everything ends up fading through the passing of time, and the most incredible people become forgotten, taking with them all their lifelong achievements and experiences because no one remembers them. The way to truly give meaning to all the things we pass through is to share the lessons we've learned, in any way we can. Otherwise, the most incredible life becomes a memory, and memories only live as long as the last person carrying them. Art makes death a little less tragic, not for the people closest to that loss, but at least for the rest of us. Through art, we can be remembered. The artist doesn't only carry memories about themselves, but also about everyone and everything in contact with them. An artist is an ambassador of memories, and of a world that could only exist through their eyes.